Well, good morning. So I've got some kind of workable working space at the moment. I've got my drawing board behind this. I just thought I'd show you this painting. This was um, a commission that I did a few years ago, but then um, they saw it since changed their mind. And I was new to acrylic painting uh, back then, but um, so like they sort of like cancelled the commission. But secretly, I was glad because I liked. I liked it. I could see it on my wall, so um, that's why I kept this. I'd like to do more work like this, um, just experimenting with the acrylics and, you know, um, maybe try and do more detail and things. Uh, it's like a four demon head thing. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, it was meant to be like fire and stuff on the top and then water on the, the bottom or something. Um, fire and water um, yeah I had fun painting it uh, I remember painting it uh, it was summer um, I think it was 2013 probably so like a few years ago so yeah I just thought I'd show you that um, before I get on with some drawings or something I haven't decided what I'm gonna do today but it's nothing new because I just I just make it up as I go along so yeah so today i thought about drawing something different um i'm gonna draw a mermaid a normal mermaid not like a zombie one or anything like that um i've got a large piece of white card and i'm gonna draw the initial sort of concept um right in the middle and i'm gonna tape all the edges and i may marker it all and add a slight bit of paint to it i don't know later on we'll just see how it goes the sketch first i've been doing little sketches in my sketchbook i've just done a quick sketch as you can see there um just a mermaid figure i want the mermaid figure to go that way with the tail but i don't know to do it like uh, she's been sort of like caught by like a chain around her neck or something or or something like that. I don't know she's been captured or something um, but I was gonna do like her arm holding onto the chain but I don't know to do her arms up in the air like whoa you know been caught <laughs> sort of thing I don't know I'll just see how it goes so I'm trying to get to do this I'll just zoom in slightly Oops. I'll just move the camera That'll work. Right, so I want to try and get the, the head in there, obviously. And then miss the arms out for now. Let's move it up. You can't really see with this lighting, but. thing and then try and draw the arms maybe one arms up here or just the Pencil marks that I've already made. Oh, this arm coming down here. Um, rather than the, I don't know if the chain. Maybe the chain is just hanging freely on her for now. So 
we'll see that she's like sort of being imprisoned somehow. We'll work it out. Always do. Shoulders slightly big. Reduce that slightly. And just try and work on the drawing some more. get used to using this drawing board again I'm more used to like just standing up and uh, leaning over a glass table so I've got to get used to this your arm aches like holding out like this because this uh, drawing board's like vertical so you yeah well we'll just see how it goes see the full thing. So I've re-sketched the arm. Um, instead of having it up like that I've just decided to place it down. It still needs some work. I've redrawn uh, the chest area with um, like sort of like seashell things as like a little bra thing. I'm still gonna have that chain that comes down here. Um, I've done pretty much all of the face. It seems all in proportion. It just the shoulders look a bit big, so I've got to sort of like reduce that. And I've thought about where she's placed. Um, I think she might be under the water, so I'm going to try and do like coral reef here and there, and seaweed and stuff. You know, just different bits of seaweed. Try and fit that in there and everywhere and more seaweed which I'll have to place up here try and fit it in against the hair and there'll be some more hair there but yeah I've got to set up the shoulders they don't look right so I'm going to go back to that and try and try and do that there so yeah the fish tails there and then comes around here I'm gonna make it a bit more prominent I think so you can see a good part of the tail and like I said I'm gonna tape the edges so I can create a nice border So that's like one half of the tail there. So I spent about just over an hour on this trying to sketch it right. It's not something I'm used to drawing much of lately, but I think it's about time I started trying to get out of my comfort zone and drawing other stuff. Been using the eraser a lot, which is uh, cool. I'm gonna make the arm slightly thinner anyway. to that one I don't know <laughs> it's about getting all the proportions right as well before I start to wink this so I'm going to be working on this for some time I'll probably do another drawing in between just to have a little break from this and it was well, just in the time now anyway so I think I'll have I think I'll go and get a nice bacon and mushroom sandwich yeah Uh. 
So just to th bring things back down to my level of drawing stuff, I thought I'd draw in my sketchbook um, a little so like chained mermaid. Uh, you got the decaying tail swiveled around there, and you got the chain, which will come off. Go pop off the page there. Um, we've got a very rotten looking um, tip there, and then there'll be a bit of ribcage showing. And I want all the hair just to flow behind. She's swimming underwater, but chained <laughs> to this uh, chain. <laughs> of flesh hanging off and skin yeah pretty cool I'm not entirely happy with this setup where I've set my drawing board um, you know a bit uncomfortable so I'm gonna try and rearrange something a bit better but yeah this Zombie mermaid, and then there's this one to try and do if I can. I may finish it, I may not. Uh, but right now, I spent a bit too much time on this, a couple of hours uh, sketching that other, you know, zombie sort of mermaid idea. Yeah, so I might try and do this or I might try and do other drawings but I'll try and come back to it because it's you know I don't like to waste time on drawings that I'm not going to finish anymore I'm trying to trying to finish the drawings that I start and so hopefully in the next week or so you'll see some finished drawings and whether this is going to be a finished one I don't know I might do I've got the sort of head right and you know the top half right it's just I think the shoulder's too big, I don't know. Uh, just working it all out, little details. And the mermaid's tail, uh, maybe make that more in the background so you can see the full tail, maybe. I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. So as a break from that mermaid uh, for a bit, I want to try and um, do something, a drawing, which I'm sort of used to. I want to do a creature that's sort of um, made of tentacles and sort of made of maybe souls so these are going to be the souls Draw my like, quickly for now. I can work on them a bit more as we're going on.
see that. I was going to draw skulls in it, but it um, might look a bit better if I draw the souls of the dead or something. But then I could make these more skull like, I don't know. I'm drawing ideas for now. Some of these on the side, and then the, got the mouth right on the side as well. And the task cut, you know, the the main sort of um, task to do is sort of and I'll try and make them more like they're going in the distance sort of thing so that there's like a structure to them they go smaller and smaller just see how certain drawings go I mean it's only an idea. May not work. details mm. I think it's one of them bad days for drawing I think it's because I've changed my setup uh, I just don't feel like uh, I don't know I'm not I ain't got my right mojo for drawing Probably just have to get used to this uh, new setup. So I've decided to zoom in and just focus on this section for this. Yep, yeah, there we go. Yeah, you know, for this tiny vlog, I've got the brush pen. And we'll see if we can try and make sense of all this. Try and change it up a bit, make these souls look a bit um, menacing. Gonna look quite sketchy. But you can have every drawing looking perfect. Give 
and like deformed looking skull heads. Try and make them a, a mishmash of um, these soles. I, th I think it's best that I've made it more sketchy so they look. You can tell that they might be skull like, but they're more. I don't know. More supernatural ish, I don't know. Not too defined, I think. It's, I've made them. More mysteriously. I don't know, I'm talking bollocks now. I don't know what I'm on about. I'll just, I'll just carry on drawing. <laughs> so I'm almost sketching with the brush pen. changing certain elements just to fit yeah, more of one on the top there Best if I can change the faces as well. You know, stretch some and have some um, not looking like skulls. Looking more demonic. Could work. Just add some darkness in there just to separate from that one. It'll be an interesting drawing. I don't want to focus on it too much. So I've lost my mojo today, I think. So I'm bringing it back with that mermaid drawing, but I'm still not so sure about that one either. So, you know, I suppose it's just one of them days. Happens to us all. I think I'll leave that one. I'll start another drawing, I'll do something else. I'll go back to the mermaid. Just starting to quickly add a bit of ink to this. Um, 
Gonna try and do something half decent today. <laughs> One of them days. But I do think it's the setup that I've uh, chose to do. Maybe. Maybe I'll try and slope this um, drawing board a bit back because I think there's like um, five different angles you can have it. Um, so I'll probably slope it back a bit more and maybe just consider standing up while I'm uh, drawing. I seem to be a bit comfy when I'm uh, stood up drawing. I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. Just adding a lot more ink to this. I think I'm more at home when I'm drawing stuff like this. Um, this seems that bit, you know, better to draw this type of stuff. But I do think it's important to try and get out of your comfort zone when drawing stuff. And just learn to draw sort of new things because I, I think it's important. You know, just drawing the same types of stuff all the time, it, it can, I don't know how it just makes you. I can't explain out. <laughs> Jesus. What's wrong with me today? If you're drawing the same, you know, thing all the time, it's yeah, you're not gonna learn to draw new stuff, so but sometimes it's hard to learn to draw new stuff, but you just gotta have a go. Yeah, that sounded a bit better. <laughs> um Yeah, so Got a chain round its neck. And this goes all the way off there. But I can come back to this as well and see what I can do with this. Every drawing's useful anyway, even if you have a bad day drawing. You know, you've learned something from it. So I'm not going to be negative about my drawing. Time to be positive. So I've come back to the mermaid drawing now. I've erased that tail and drawn it more in the background. Um, so that tail, so like, will go like that off the page. And I've got to maybe have a look on Google for um, some kind of seaweed. Uh, I've got an idea how some seaweed will look, but. I want it to look a bit more realistic and a lot of variety. I just want to add a lot of background and colours and stuff in there and a bit in the background there and maybe some in the background just to help set it off. I've taped around the edges of the ma you know masking tape um, and I'll give a nice border uh, when I start to you know colour this. I ain't really started inking it yet but I really want to finalise the drawing first before I start inking it. Um, I've decided just to leave that arm. It'll look alright. Um, yeah, I think it's just best just to crack on with it really. But that's where I'm at with that. So, I'll update soon when I've done a bit of inking and I'll get the tripod set back up. So I'm starting to ink the hair of this mermaid now and you know the the tail there a bit and I've had a look at some seaweed on Google and just done a few variations and just made it up as well you know starting to do other bits down there and um, stuff like that. Uh, I'm gonna call this vlog to an end just for today uh, mainly because I haven't really had a bit of a chill out for the last few days so I'm gonna end this vlog today and I'm gonna try and do a bit more of this tomorrow probably in the vlog just to try it because I'm 
sort of like uh, getting into stuff like this. I might I might have inked this by the time I show you it tomorrow. And I might be well underway with the colouring. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, just going to chill out for a change. Just have a bit of a break. Um, watching Heroes and Heroes Reborn, which isn't, isn't as good as the original Heroes. Um, it's still good, but not as good. So yeah, I'll be watching that. And yeah, so I'll leave that vlog there for today. And yeah, so thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers now.